Robert De Niro uh, analyzed this. I'm in New York making a movie. And it's a cloudy Sunday. And um, I said, you know, man, I'd love to go to a Yankee game. David Wells pitches the perfect game. <laughs> so I, I have to go down to the clubhouse afterwards. I know David pretty well. And uh, everyone's around him, around him, and he sees me. And I go, I just got here. What happened? <laughs> So he asked what I was doing. I said, I'm making this movie with Robert De Niro. And we're shooting in, in um, Red Hook, Brooklyn uh, tomorrow. And he goes, I got to come. I got to come. So we're shooting a, this shootout scene. This Chaz Palminteri and all of these, you know, make-believe gangs and so on. And um, David pulls up. And he gets out. And he's, he's got this big satchel with him. And they're balls. And he's signing balls for... The guys are lining up. I mean, it's Christmas. All right. So... Um, De Niro, I'm going to call him De Niro, says, because um, I usually have to call him sir, and he's not here, right. and that's fine. <laughs> so Bob says to me, who's a fat guy? <laughs> <laughs> so I go, it's David Wells. He goes, who's that? He knows nothing about sports. What? I go, he pitches with the Yankees. He pitched a perfect game. What's that? <laughs> He said, 27 up, 27 down. No one got a hit, no one got a walk, no errors, nothing. Perfect. He goes, sounds boring. <laughs> I said, no, no at the t I think there were only 11 at the time. Right. But, yeah, because it's boring. Why would there be more than that? <laughs> if there would more, be more perfect games, then people wouldn't come to watch baseball. <laughs> it's boring. I said, no, but he's an amazing guy. He just did this, and he, he wants to meet you. Ah, all right, I, all right. So they say alone. So, so then um, Wells takes me and says, would he sign the ball for me? And I said, sure. What do you want him to write? I'll ask him. He said, well, Raging Bull is my favorite movie. If he would write, you're the boss, you're the boss, you're the boss, <laughs> Bob De Niro, it would do me, right? So I go into Bob's trailer. I said, would you sign something oh, for the fat guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, but he, he wants you to write something for him. What? Uh, right to David, right? You're the boss, you're the boss, you're the boss. And he goes, why would I write that? <laughs> I says, well, in Raging Bull, you say, I'm the boss, I'm the boss. And he says, yeah, because I was the boss. I'm the boss, I'm the boss. <laughs> He's not the boss. <laughs> he can't possibly be the boss. A fat guy like that is not the boss. <laughs> so he writes, you're the boss, you're the, he did it, he did it, did it, you know, and so on and so forth, and I gave it to Wells. And, and Wells went, he didn't spell this right. <laughs> he went back and forth, but it was so funny oh, that he didn't right. know what a perfect game was and so on. But working with him, with, with, with De Niro, in the way that we worked together, playing his shrink, and the way he, how fast he works and how he repeats lines until he gets it perfect for him, was like sports. Bow, 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 bow. And it was thrilling and exhausting at the same time. And um, to this day, he's one of my closest friends, and um, he's one of the dearest people people you could ever imagine. He's a, he's a truly great actor, but he's an even better friend. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Lucky guy. Now, you, um, you mentioned your work with Comic Relief, which has raised so much money. Uh, what other charities are important to you right, right about now? Well, right now, um, uh, we just did the concert for Sandy Relief at Madison Square Garden. That was on December 12th. Um, you know, I have to try and get, help get my hometown back up on its feet. And I have this um, theater program uh, at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And what it is, it's a theater program for Arabs, Palestinians, and Israeli actors, writers, directors to all work together in original theater productions. And it's, we're in our uh, 13th year. Wow. And it is phenomenal. I've read that um, you're working on your memoir. Yes. Which you could pretty much take the transcript from the show. Yeah, but a lot of the things... That, uh, I, I will turn... Uh, this guy will go again. I will turn 65 in March. Mm hmm And... Wow. <laughs> and uh, I decided to... Um, I thought I'd go out on the road and do stand-up about that. And as I started writing um, these pieces, they felt like essays. You know, they felt really like New Yorker pieces. <clears throat> so I've put them all together, and I'm still finishing up. It'll come out October 1st. 
I don't have a title yet, um, which is turning out to be the hardest thing. But it's all funny recollections of where I'm at now and where I've been. So that's, I'm very excited about that. Uh, Holt Press is, is um, publishing it, and that's the next big thing. Good luck with that. The thank movie you. is Parental Guidance. It's going to be a huge hit, obviously. I hope so. And we thank you so much for Michael's coming Michael, a pleasure. Thank you so much. That's Billy Crystal. I'm Michael Kay, and this is Center Stage. So long, everybody.